Every person who has successfully graduated from medical school would say that one of the hardest part of being a medical student is the level of pressure one has to face as they transition from one level to another. If you have already started medical school or you have friends who are studying medical courses, then you would agree with me that there is a lot you need to do to be able to perform well in medical school and graduate with good grades. What is expected of you as a medical student? How do you succeed in medical school? What are the things you must do as a medical student to succeed in medical school? Hello there, this is MedZone TV, home to medical school excellence. Today I will be telling you everything you need to know about being a medical student. Sit back, relax and listen. The first thing every medical student needs to know is the importance of having a well-planned schedule. Planning your activities will enable you to achieve your goals and priorities in time. Time is the one resource that we cannot buy but we often waste it or use it poorly because we fail to plan our activities. Scheduling will help us think about what you want to achieve in a day, week or the entire semester or year. It keeps you on track to accomplish your goal. Having a well-planned schedule in medical school will help you prioritize important tasks and get more work done. It will help you manage the academic workload and meet up with the deadlines. It will help you avoid taking more than you can handle. Finally, it will help you work steadily towards achieving your goals for the semester or academic year. Once you understand how to schedule your time, you will be able to make the most out of medical school. The next thing that you need to know about being a medical student is that you need to start preparing for exams early. Yes, you need to start studying early. Don't leave it until the last minute. Give yourself enough time to study as this gives you the best chance of getting good grades. Because of how broad the academic calendar is for medical students, the earlier you start preparing for the exam, the more prepared you will be. Start early as this gives you the opportunity to really learn the material and understand it rather than memorizing the information for the sake of passing an exam. When you start preparing for exams early, you will have enough time to finish the semester's academic workload and avoid last-minute cramming or rushing through topics. Also, you will have enough time to identify weaker subjects and practice past exam question papers. The next thing you need to know about being a medical student is that you need to prepare to work harder than you ever have. Yes, you need to prepare to work harder than you ever have. Medical school is an endurance test. You need to prepare yourself to work hard. Medical school is about consistency and hard work. Consistent hard work leads to success in medical school. Yes, there is no substitute for consistent hard work in medical school. You need to be consistent in studying. Make studying a habit because learning something once is never enough as the amount of information you can remember will dwindle over time unless you review them repeatedly. Thus, to be able to succeed in medical school, you need to plan ahead and know when to revise which topics or parts of the syllabus. The next thing every medical student needs to know is to learn how to prioritize tax. Knowing how to prioritize tasks is very important as a medical student as it will keep you organized and productive while ensuring that you have plenty of time to study and indulge in extracurricular activities. Learn how to determine which tax is more important or most important and urgent and how much time you should allocate to that particular tax. Moving on, every medical student needs to know what works best for them and stick to it. Every medical student will have a different way of studying. Some students may prefer to study with other students in a study group while others may prefer to study alone. Some students may prefer watching videos or listening to audios than studying textbooks or materials while others may prefer studying textbooks than watching videos or listening to audios. Some students may prefer staying back at home or going to the library to study rather than attending lectures, while others may prefer attending lectures or being around for classes. Know what works best for you and stick to it as there will be a lot of studying to do through the entire medical school journey. The next thing every medical student needs to know is that when they are studying as medical students, 
they are not just studying only for the next exam because this very knowledge forms the basis of their clinical reasoning and decision making as healthcare professionals. Thus, medical students need to study with an open heart and pay attention as the very chapter they are studying today may be what will save somebody's life tomorrow. Moving on, the next thing every medical student needs to do is to find a mentor or be a mentor. A mentor is a trusted counselor or guide. They provide support, guidance, advice and help in whatever capacity that they can. With the advice and guidance of a mentor in medical school, mentees can avoid making mistakes that would otherwise occur. When you have a mentor in medical school, you gain access to someone who has experience in whatever you are trying to navigate. The mentor can be a senior colleague or a lecturer. They will recommend what textbooks you should use. They will help you with past questions. They will direct you on the do's and don'ts in medical school and guide you on how to answer questions in the exam hall. In fact, nothing comes close to the advice that a mentor or someone with experience and who has learned from their own mistakes shares with you. Moving on, the next thing every medical student needs to know is that asking for help is not a sign of weakness. Asking for help is never a sign of weakness. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Many medical students may find themselves struggling academically for the first time in their lives. And if this happens, please ask for help. Don't isolate yourself in your struggles. Don't always think you can do it on your own. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness, rather it is a sign of strength. It shows you have the courage to admit when you don't know something and to learn something new. Always ask for help in medical school when you need it. Moving on, the next thing every medical student needs to know is that they should not neglect their mental health. Mental health is something that many people do not consider to be of high importance and thus they neglect taking care of their mental health. Medical students are prone to experience high levels of stress during their studies, which can lead to burnout and mental health disorders such as anxiety and depression. Always prioritize your personal time and make time for mental and physical awareness. The next thing every medical student needs to do is to do things outside medicine or medical school. It's okay to care about other things outside medical school. It's okay to be interested in some other things outside medicine. It's okay to start a small business such as graphics designing, writing, affiliate marketing, or to be interested in school politics while studying in medical school. Your entire life should not revolve around medicine. It's okay to be social and to have friends who are not necessarily medical students. Try to get a life outside medicine. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and comment to tell us any specific topics you need help in. Also, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please hit the subscribe button now.